I have a new uh, Core i9 12th gen uh, PC that uh, I'm using the NHD12L as the cooler, but there are occasional thermal throttling. And the reason I went with the D12 was that when I started the process, I was, um, my mind was in the mini ITX form factor and the case I thought uh, I was gonna get was the uh, N200, uh, but I went to the micro ATX and the John's Bull D30 case, which has a CPU cooler clearance of 168 millimeter. So now after a viewer on another video pointed out that, you know, the height factor, I decided that uh, I'm gonna give it another shot with the D15 and I'm going all in this time. I mean, also bought the, the H2 thermal paste from Noctua. So this cooler is already uh, not really small. Uh, the D15 is going to be bigger. I'm a little bit worried about this space, uh, whether it's gonna fit it. And also the RAM clearance. My RAM height is not that uh, that much, uh, so it should cover it. A lot will come this way too. Uh, well, uh, we'll find out. Uh, as far as the cooler goes, I'm planning on only replacing uh, the mounting brackets, not the base plate. I'm going to keep the same base plate. They're both Noctua, so. Removing the heatsink. I didn't use too much of the thermal paste, so I'm curious to see what kind of mass I'm going to find as far as the thermal paste goes. Not bad. I have to clean it up. And I intend to use only the wipes that came with my H2 thermal paste. So I'm removing these mounting brackets. If you look at the specifications, the part numbers are different for the D12L versus the D15 that I'm planning to install. I've got the mounting bracket replaced and also thermal paste applied. Uh, it's like five uh, points, just like Noctua recommends. Now uh, I'm just going to attach the heatsink and then I am planning to use both fans. So I have the cooler installed and both of the fans installed and uh, there is still a little bit of room left. So when I put the glass cover in, it did not uh, push against the top of the cooler. Um, well, let's do some benchmarks and find out if this really helps. I just got run running the same benchmarks and uh, with the D15 installed, it's much, much better, I have to say. The CPU temperature went up to only 90 degrees zero thermal throttling across the course the minimum was also you know very impressive 25 degrees centigrade average has been 34 degrees centigrade and uh, the fast mark score is at 99 percentile for this cpu this is the very expected range it makes sense if you look at the noctua's cpu compatibility list their standardized performance rating for the D15 is 183, 
whereas for the D12L that was my initial selection was at 148. D12L can work of course but uh, for the Core i9 12900K definitely the D15 is the way to go with the NSPR of 183. Thank you.